so today we are taking this piece of red oak and making a mini sword or a mini knife, whatever it turns out to be. For the next part here, I'm using a scroll saw to cut through this board. Now this blade is pretty old, and I should have got some new ones before I started, but um, it, it's working for me. It's just taken a little bit to cut this out. Well, you can see my cut got off right there. That's absolutely terrible. Okay, this was really janky. There is parts of it messed up. I may just take the rest of this and power carve it from here on out. And yeah. So this is where everything started going wrong. Off camera, the guard on the knife broke and it completely killed the whole design of the knife, what I was going for. And then I had to change the design like four or five more times because the wood kept splintering and cracking. And you know what, I almost didn't upload this video, then I thought, you know what, it doesn't matter what it looks like, because I was like really afraid, because in my mind, this looked really junky, and I don't want to put this content on my channel, then I thought, you know what, you know, who cares? It's, you know, about the process of, of it, it's having fun. And so, I've said it before, but if you're not making mistakes, you're not doing anything, so it's all right to make mistakes, and it's all right if other people see them. So with that being said, you just have to learn as you go. And you can see right here, I've already started on my second project, which is turning out a lot better, I think, than the first. So yeah, um, be watching out for that. Okay, I changed this design about five different times. This wood has been an absolute nightmare to work with. I'm gonna have to fill in some cracks there, and I was gonna use some tongue oil to finish this with, but I think I'm gonna paint this. It's gonna look a lot better. Okay, to fill in the cracks, I got some sawdust here. I'm gonna take some glue, I put some down here, and what I wanna do, get a little bit of the sawdust and just mix it up real good right down in there and just smush it around in there. We're gonna let that dry, then take a piece of sandpaper and just sand it. You can see where I filled it in right there. It's nice and smooth. Now I'm gonna add a coat of paint and primer to this before we start painting. After I got a nice coat of paint on here, I took some silver acrylic paint and I'm doing a light wash over the blade. Wash meaning it's mixed with water. It's not like pure silver. It's just gonna give it a nice little tinted silver look, which is gonna like faux the effect that it's actual metal. And for the bolsters here, I'm going with a copper color. And this is just like a, you know, a regular, you know, traditional knife color for bolsters right here. And now keep in mind, there's not a whole lot I could do right here since I messed the knife up completely. So I didn't even try to do anything extra here. I was gonna keep it simple. I did wanna have the original red oak wood color, but it just wasn't happening. And for the body of the knife right here, I'm using this burnt umber color. I've never used burnt umber before, but it's kind of like a, you know, reddish tin of brown. Okay, and this is what we have. I was gonna paint some pins in there, but I've decided not to do it. I'm just gonna leave it like it is and not put any more time into this. So what I'm using right here is satin polyurethane. I ran out of water base. This is oil based. I mean, you can use whatever you want. I'm gonna do the 
the body right here in the satin and then for the blade itself I'm going to do a um, semi gloss and here it is completely done now despite the fact this is 100% completely different than what I wanted it to be that's all right I made a ton of mistakes and I really grew through this. I know what not to do on my next project and how to do certain things, so it's all right. And as one of my favorite authors say, you are failing forward. So even though you are failing, you're moving forward. You're failing forward. You're still making progress. So if you make a mistake, good, it's all right. You can learn from it. You're giving yourself substance to build on. So if you're not making mistakes, you're not doing anything. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I really hope you enjoyed the video. Hit that subscribe button, then hit the bell notification button so you guys won't miss an upload when I make a new video. Also, all my tool links that I've used, all the tools I've used are below in the links so you guys can check it out. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I will see you guys in the next video.